AYDBC, basement piper here. Smoking my Peterson standard system, 314, out of it. Some Cornell and Deal Oak Alley. Bought two tins of these, one to age, one to smoke. So, broke up a, comes in a crumble cake, uh, broke up a little bit, stuffed it in. Uh, can't really see, I'm about halfway through this bowl. But it's got some kick to it, that's for sure. Got red Virginia, white and brown burley, with small amounts of Parique and Caterini Turkish. Not sure what Katerini Turkish is, but I would say to me, I think the Burleys um, are probably what I pick up on most. And the Virginias are doing a really good job of like <clears throat> just rounding it out so that those burlies aren't so um, kind of rustic and and uh, abrasive. That Virginia is just doing a great job of, of giving it that sweet, grassy kind of uh, flavor. But every once in a while I can pick up on that creek, just kind of hits you and as well as that Katerini Turkish. I'm guessing that's also what's making it kind of uh, have some body to it. The smoke has a lot of body. Good amount of spice. Um, good amount of sweetness. But the sweetness isn't there like up front. It's very just kind of on the edges, like I say, just kind of rounding it out and uh, making it so it's not quite so harsh. But I would say that the Burleys are definitely what I pick up on most. Which is why I got this blend. Um, looking at some of the other ones in the Cellar series, I just wasn't a big fan of the description. Or I just kind of thought that I could tell by the description that I wouldn't really care for them. Uh, just based on the tobaccos inside them. But I read this one, saw it had some Burleys. I really love Burley and Red Virginia. So thought I'd give this a try. And so far it is not disappointing at all. Retro Hill, you pick up on uh, it's got a really interesting Retro Hill. 
it's spice, but not like, uh, almost like a nutmeggy kind of spice. You know, almost kind of like a Christmassy kind of spice. Uh, but yeah, the burly in this is just very good. You can feel a little bit of that preek, uh, that Turkish, which I guess I've never really had Katerini Turkish, I don't think. So I'm not really sure what that is playing in this. This honestly tastes like a like a very high-end codger blend. Like the Cadillac's a codger blend. If that makes any kind of sense. I definitely recommend it if you're a Burley lover. I'm really excited to see how it ages. Um, hoping as it ages it kind of rounds out a little bit more. It's there, there's some base to it, but it's also kind of all over the place as far as like that woody, uh, earthy tones from the burly, that bit of sweetness that you kind of get in the corner of your cheeks from the Virginia. And then that uh, round sweetness from the Virginias. I think this is going to age really well once all this stuff can, uh, when all the components can really kind of marry together. But right out of the tin, it's very good. not disappointed at all it's got a little kick to it so you might want to eat something before you have this especially if you're not really used to heavier blends like haunted bookshop um, some of your other kind of more potent blends but it's very good stuff really recommend Cornell and Deal, Oak Alley. If you have tried it, let me know. And if you haven't, I recommend it. Hopefully this video helps you kind of gauge if you might like it. And I'll see y'all next time.